as we mentioned earlier in the beginning of this edition of the program, we are going uh, to talk more about the sixth round of the Cannes Film Festival uh, for short films, which was held recently. And uh, we are very much honored to have with us Mr. Fouad Shirbini. He is a director and instructor uh, of uh, short uh, films. Good morning to you. Good morning, Good morning uh, Mr. Fouad. Mr. Fouad, as Hela just mentioned, that uh, recently uh, the Cannes International Film Festival for short movies was held in the Cannes Opera House and uh, you uh, participated in that uh, festival uh, and not only with um, a production of uh, movies but with workshops. So can you elaborate on that? Uh, yes, um, I was giving a filmmaking workshop, mm -hmm. a workshop about um, how to make a short film. Uh, it was, it was uh, theoretical, we didn't do any practical work. It was only four days. Mm. Uh, the first day we talked about how uh, the, the cinema and the, the short film industry uh, is, is done and how, uh, who's the members who are working in the industry so we can uh, make the whole film. Uh, also, uh, everyone, uh, his task, uh, what he's doing and uh, what he needs to be done, what needs mm. to be done. Uh, and then we talked about how to write a script Mm. Uh, the, the strategy, how it, it's, it's done, how we can write uh, everything in its place. Mm. And then after that, the second day, we talked about uh, the camera movements and the camera angles and the meanings of each camera movement and the meaning of each camera angle. Uh, and then uh, we talked about uh, the lighting, the indoor lighting and the outdoor lighting, uh, how we can, uh, what's the rules of, uh, mm. of lighting, my, uh, my subject and my... Mm. Uh, uh, my main character and then the outdoors uh, when we have lighting uh, when we have the sunlight how we can uh, use the reflectors and so on and so forth uh, and then we talked about the mics the sound and the mic wh which mic can be used in which place mm. uh, depending on uh, the quality the and situation. the situation exactly mm. okay. uh, and then we talked about uh, how we can uh, the editing and the montage at the, at the end how it's done and how the interface uh, how the interface looks like and which uh, icons mm. I can use to do what I need to do. Okay, mm. so you basically talked about the various um, mm. phases or stages through which the film goes through until the final production. But yes. were these workshops uh, attended by uh, ordinary audience for the public or was it um, intended to be for specialists or students who want to become filmmakers? Okay, very good question. Uh, the, first of all, we talked about uh, two, the, we made the a comparison. Mm -hmm. The comparison was made on how is the cinema done and how is the uh, short mm -hmm. films done. Uh, and here, uh, one, two, three, four, five people do different uh, stuff mm -hmm. and different tasks. And in the short film, how you can do the five things together yeah. because it's a low, uh, low budget. And uh, the people who were attending uh, were the beginners and intermediate level. Uh, mm. because we were talking about the basics. Mm. Uh, so if someone uh, uh, has an past experience or is working in the field or is graduated from, uh, from the faculty uh, of mass communication or uh, from the cinema institute, uh, he will have this information. Yes. So we were talking and targeting the people who are, are not uh, the ordi ordinary people who do, do don't have any experience in the field or the medium people or who is in the first uh, first year in the who are interested but they don't have enough information exactly mm -hmm. exactly okay uh, mr fouad uh, uh, now you, you you talked about uh, giving the workshop um, on the theoretical level only why there was no practical part which is the, the most important part uh, to uh, give the students here or uh, the, the people who attended the, the workshop uh, the real uh, uh, image of uh, how to do a movie. A this is movie. a very good question. I, I give courses mm. uh, for filmmaking, but the courses is for uh, two months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, it, it practical not. and mm. uh, theoretical. And at the end, they make a short film uh, as the graduation project for mm. for for the course that they were attending. Mm. But it's two months. But for four days, we cannot give practical th and theoretical. Mm. It's going to be a lot. Not, not even a, a, a short one or uh, on um, a, a speedy uh, scale or... They will not have time because... Mm. It was too short. It was too short and 
and there are a lot of uh, important things that needs to be considered mm. in making a film because everything that you see and everything that is mirrored on the on mm. the TV or on the on the mobile or anything that mm. you watch uh, is always ha uh, having a meaning the camera movement or the lighting uh, or the mood that the film is in so if we do practical and theoretical in four days there will not be any um, mm. real value or exactly mm. Mm. what is the length of a short movie the short movie can start from 30 seconds uh, mm. until uh, 45 uh, minutes i'm asking this because people <laughs> now are using their mobile uh, phones as device to uh, um, document anything. For example, if anything is going in the street and they, they, they watch and they document this through their phones. Is it possible for ordinary people to produce a short film using uh, the, the simple uh, methods or applications of the phone? Um, anyone can do it, but not anyone. Meaning mm. uh, you have to have the technicalities. Because in the film industry, uh, it's 70% uh, uh, education mm. and 30% uh, uh, you, uh, that the thing you feel that you can mm. do. The sense. The yeah. sense, yes. Mm -hmm. But there is 70% uh, education because everything, mm. we, at the beginning, at, at the end, we, we give subliminal messages through the film industry or through mass communication uh, generally. Meaning that uh, when, a, when, when a viewer, an ordinary viewer, watches a film, he doesn't know that you made this movement to make him feel angry <laughs> or to make him feel mm. happy. Subliminally, he yes. feels that. But unconsciously. He doesn't, yes, unconsciously. Mm. Mm. The, yeah, the, we, are, we are born and we are, we, we are living with some senses. Mm. Uh, unconsciously, we feel things mm. that we don't know how we got mm. it. Mm. Yes. But... Uh, when, when you will learn this, you learn how you can move this sense by, by this, how you can, mm. the know-how of how you can make the audience feel happy or feel sad or feel uh, that, that, that terrified. Actually, I know the horror movies only, <laughs> the techniques of the horror movies. You do yes. that with the music, with the lighting, with the movement, of the, with the camera movement, I believe. And but. the acting and every, mm -hmm. every single thing you see, mm. even the accessories, the props. Mm. Uh, Maybe minimal details uh, as well could contribute in that, exactly, uh, delivering that feeling. Exactly. Mm. Because, uh, for example, let's talk about uh, we're going to have a scene that um, uh, two people are sitting uh, for the first time, uh, uh, two lovers, they will uh, meet on uh, uh, a place on the Nile. Mm. For the first time, any two lovers will meet, they will meet in a very fancy place. Mm. Even if they are, uh, uh, even if they their economic social their socioeconomic level is not so high mm. they will meet in the best place they, could <laughs> they can afford, afford yes but if i, I get uh, uh, they are meeting in the street mm. uh, eating uh, some uh, things uh, out of a car in the street uh, on the nile it yeah. will be not so uh, the people will not feel that oh yes they, uh, this is the first time they are going out and this is the first time they see each other mm. for example and other examples so the location and the things and the lighting and the, the acting and the music, all of this takes the audience into the mood mm -hmm. of the film. And uh, nowadays, the mobiles, it's all cameras. The mm -hmm. camera of the mobile or the, or the camera of the cinema, it's a camera. Mm -hmm. If you know the know-how, you will know how the, you un understand the, how the, the mind of the camera is working so you can get out of it what you need. So you, yes, you can make a film. But I think it requires a talent as well. Because yes, a, 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 a natural talent, not many people know this, Macy, mm. because you could be walking in the street and you observe something that ordinary people don't mm. exactly. see. You can exactly. see something, you can see a beauty in this uh, it's an artistic, uh, uh, format. Artistic exactly. exactly. So, uh, why but the talent, as I said, is 30% only. 70% uh -huh. is the know-how. You develop the talent by the know-how. Exactly. Okay. Because, uh, okay, I, I shoot very well. But I don't know why is it so well. Mm. I just take a, I I took a but photo. What, or what are, um, uh, Mr. Sherbini, what are the tools that you use here for producing uh, um, a short movie? Uh, you cannot do that with um, a phone, uh, mobile phone, I think. Uh, you, you need more developed equipment in order to produce a technical or um, a professional 
short movie. So uh, a person who is talented uh, and he wants to do that, what, what are the tools that he should use here? Uh, uh, so actually, actually, you can use a mobile mm. because we have three, in any production, we have three stages, mm. the pre-production and the production itself and the post-production. Mm. The pre-production is preparing and the script and, uh, and mm. sitting with, uh, with the people and all of this stuff. Mm. And the production itself is shooting the film and the pre-production is the editing. Mm. So we made the production, so, uh, the pre-production, and then we shot uh, our film uh, with a mobile. Mm. We'll not have all of what we need and all of the movements and all of the zoom mm. in or zoom out that we need, but mm. afterwards we can do some after effects or some effects in the post-production. So by that, mm. we, we shot an ordinary uh, film, but we made some editing at the end in the post-production, mm. which made it very uh, delight and very nice. Mm. Okay. Is there a difference between short films and documentaries? Yes, of course. Mm. The short films and the long films are the same. It's a feature film. Okay. Mm. But uh, the, the difference only here is in the timing of Yes, what? the length. Mm. The length. Mm. Of course, we see a difference in the in the technique in the technique, and we see a difference in the equipment used, and we see a difference sometimes in the acting. But this is due to the production. Mm. The big film uh, will have a lot of production, so other so in this uh, sense, we were going going to have more equipments and more stuff. But they are both uh, feature films. The documentary is documenting uh, something that happened meaning that I'm documenting, uh, uh, for example, about uh, Tutan Khamun. I'm making a documentary about Tutan Khamun. So I'm documenting that this person was, uh, was living from the era, uh, mm. uh, from time to time, uh, what's, uh, what was his job, uh, how he died, uh, mm. what was the complications he had in his life. Mm -hmm. So I'm documenting, and then by documenting, I'm getting uh, a lot of information about him, uh, photography or videos, and there is a narrator talking and uh, mm. explaining the historical events that happened mm. from uh, the beginning of, of, uh, of the, the person or the thing that we are talking about until the end. Mm. There is a different people sometimes, uh, you were saying that someone shoots something in the street and then he uploads it. There's a difference between documentary and the report. The I know. Some people don't, yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, some people don't know this. They, they think that uh, if we shoot uh, um, uh, with a mobile uh, something, this is a documentary because I'm documenting this moment. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. But it's not like it's that. Not, of course. It's, it's a not. report. Mm. It's a report. You are reporting what is happening now. Mm. But the documentary is documenting a whole thing that happened all along uh, years or mm. days or or eras. So basically the documentary uh, um, um, the difference between the documentary and the short film although they could be the same in, in, in some mm -hmm. aspects like the length for example but they are different because there is a lot of information uh, introduced uh, by the documentary unlike uh, the, the short film. Am I correct? Yes, the documentary you are documenting something you are giving information to people. Mm -hmm. You are documenting about something that happened past. There is something called docudrama Mm. Uh, it's uh, people are acting in the mm. documentary uh, upon what happened in real life, but in a feature film you can make something that didn't happen in real life. Uh, okay, interesting. <laughs> yes, you, uh, you, uh, people. The sky's uh, the limit. Mm. Yes, exactly. It is. exactly, it is. exactly. It's a, it's exactly. A and sometimes you can take from the from the reality, and sometimes mm. you can take a, a real story that happened. Yes. But at the beginning, at, at the end, you have. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. In, uh, you don't have to document film. something mm. as it. Did, uh, as it was in the history. Mm, okay. Let's go back to CAM uh, Film Festival. How do you see uh, the festival and its contribution uh, to the industry? Uh, the festival, uh, this was the si sixth uh, year. Mm -hmm. Yes, the sixth round. Uh, it was in the opera. All of the, the festival, all of the mm, days was the done mm. in the opera. Uh, and this time it was different. Mm. Uh, it wa it, it's an international film festival. But this year, uh, it was an inter there, there was a competition for international film uh, movies, and there was a competition for the Arab uh, film uh, mm. uh, films, mm. uh, because in the past years, the the president of the the president of the festival said that in the past years, 
there are only, uh, of course, in the international, in the uh, out of the Arabian Peninsula, mm. there, there, there is a lot of equipments used and there is a lot of uh, technicalities that can mm. be used in a short film, more than the Arabian uh, Peninsula. Mm. So uh, people abroad were, were winning a lot. So mm. that's why he made two different competitions. The competition okay. for the international and for the Arab only uh, uh, production countries. of the. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, finally, uh, Mr. Sherbini, you were honored at the end of uh, that uh, festival for uh, your contribution. Can you tell us more about this uh, honor? Yes, uh, I was, uh, as I said, I, I, I did the four days. Mm. And then in the final uh, uh, ceremony of the festival, uh, I was honored. Uh, by the by, the president of the film festival for uh, doing the workshop uh, inside mm. the the days of the festival mm. the, of the festival. Mm. Okay, uh, Fuadi Sherbini, director and uh, instructor. Thank you very much for coming and congratulations for the award that you got. Uh, we do hope to see many young people like yourself educating and uh, contributing uh, to the film industry here in Egypt. Thank, Thank you very you. much. My pleasure. Thank you very My much, pleasure. sir, and have a lovely morning. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this edition of uh, The Breakfast Show. Today, you are in the company of Mr. Robi and myself, Hala Hamalewi, wishing you a very good day.